hello there and welcome or welcome back so today we're going to do uh, something a little bit different um i have done some of these cards before on uh, my second channel which is walk and talk with tanya oh i think i changed it i've not posted on there for a while but it is on my um on my links so i did read some of these out um <clears throat> a couple of times um and just spoke about them but i thought these would be good cards uh for journal prompts so these are called a little more conversation i got them from uh etsy i will put the link um down below and there's some different categories so there's warm up what if back in the day right here right now tomorrow and beyond so i thought we'll obviously start off uh with the warm-up um and i've had this book out again um on a couple of videos but i've not had it out for a while this is one of those um i don't know i don't know if they're photo albums or something so it's just a plain uh craft spiral bound book and obviously if it gets too chunky i can rip some pages out and then obviously use those for something else so that was a spread that i used using a victoria um victoria i, I forget i forget her name i'm sure you know you know who, who i mean um and that flips out like so and then this one i don't think this is using a particular kit i know there's bits off um an anine kit a collage type kit here and this is uh all mushrooms and things so that is uh that one so we'll start on the next page so that's that i've got some uh different um ones of those papers are these are from either topology or uh, your creative studio boxes so just a selection of those obviously you could use book pages uh, music pages digitals whatever it's just for for a base just to cover um you know some of the craft paper i've got some uh william morris um tissue paper which i thought i might put here and there just to jol up the um the text and then i've got my tray of stuff that is leftovers from you know other things and as i've been tidying my room out getting ready uh, to move into my new office um i've been popping things in here so there's lots of um different things in here so that's what we're going to be decorating uh, with. So let's let's have a look at the first card. Obviously, if anything uh, controversial comes up and, <clears throat> you know, um, that kind of thing, I will bypass uh, that one because, you know, I don't think my my channel is about uh, controversy or, or anything like that. So the first of the three questions is music or movies? And then what is one of your favourite drinks and what or who always makes you feel calm? So they're three, three good icebreakers. So while we uh, have a chat about that, um, I'm going to, you know, cover, cover my background um, and then we'll start thinking where we're going to put things and, and what we're going to uh, put Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, glue stick and I may as well put all that down, but let's put something uh, down here and then I'll lay that one, um, you know, at the top. So if I rip that in half, because I don't need it to cover you know the entirety let's just piddle piddle this down down here so music or movies now obviously that is that's a difficult one um because you know most of us most of us like all of them don't we both of them 
Um, but I definitely listen to more music than I watch movies. Um, I do love movies, but um, I, don't, I don't watch that many of them. Um, I do find it concentration pretty hard. Uh, the sitting for, for two hours, you know, just just watching um, a film. Um, it's, it's definitely got to be a good film, um, something that that I'm interested in and that I want to spend two hours um, watching. So, I mean, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot to consider. Uh, but... You know, at Christmas, say, I watched a lot of movies because uh, I do love Christmas films. Um, I don't know if I've watched a movie since since then. I don't think I have. I have booked some tickets. Um, there's a, a Bob Marley, um, what do you call it, a biotic? Biotic? Anyway. Um, you know, is is life uh, story that comes out? I think just before Valentine's Day. So I'm going the day after Valentine's Day with my oldest daughter, um, and I've watched quite a few of those films. I saw the Elvis one. Um, I saw the Judy Judy Garland one. Um, I've seen oh what's it? What's the name? Um, Marilyn Monroe one. Um, Nicole, is it Nicole and you know the other blonde bon shell? Um, so I do, I do like that. Um, trouble is they they do really upset me. Um, and yeah, you know I I think growing up and like you see people on the telly and you think they're having they're having a wonderful time um and then you realize actually you know it's having a rubbish time and um you know people's taking advantage of them and and this that and the other and they was all you know quite lonely um and all that kind of stuff so um yeah i don't know why then i do like those kinds of films but but i do um, I like love stories, but I think now there's, there's too many. There's a lot of um, that kind of thing. My favourite is uh, The Notebook. That's one of my all-time favourite um, in that kind of genre. Also, uh, Fifty First Dates. So I guess that's like a, a rom-com, is it? Um, is that what you call a rom-com, like a romantic comedy? So, yeah, I do like those kinds of films. But again, some of them are rather silly and there's a lot of them. And I think that's why I don't watch that many now, because there is a lot of them. And, um, yeah, I just get kind of lost with uh, what's what. I think when films, you know, used to be... A lot slower coming out and, and things and there was big kind of um not events but um i don't know what to call it um you know you'd probably then go to the cinema and go and watch it but there's new films coming out well, shall i say every day <laughs> i don't know if that's the truth but that's how it uh feels so, I used to like um, horror films, um, especially as a as a teenager. Um, not so much now because they do actually scare me, and um, yeah, I I have to go and check, you know, all the cupboards and the wardrobe and things like that. Um, and I, I feel just a bit unsettled at night, so I don't tend to. Um, watch those kind of movies anymore. Um, I love you know the old, the old classics, the uh, Wizard of Oz, and um, 
sound of music and Greece and so I suppose musicals a lot of a lot of musicals um do watch Disney films um with the grandchildren so I think I think that probably covers the kind of um movies that I like so yes I do like movies um oh I love the Jurassic Park movies um, I don't know, there's just something about dinosaurs. And I used to love the Resident Evil uh, films. Went to the cinema and saw, saw all those. But, yeah, I think music, if, if you know, today, now, this minute, you said, do you want to watch a film or do you want to listen to music? I would say music. Now, my music taste is very, very varied. And I think as I've got older, it's got it's got even more. Um, so, uh, I listen to a lot of, um, I suppose, I suppose it come, would come under the umbrella of, of like new age uh, music. So, um, you know, like meditation type music, um, water sounds bird sounds um ambience music that's what you'd call it so i do listen to a lot of that um every day so i mean today i've listened to to quite a bit um i've been listening to some like celtic um quite haunting type music um which is beautiful um you know with harps and and things um like that um i'm also a big a big r and b um lover and you know soul music older soul music like um luther vandross and teddy pendergrass and marvin gay and diana ross and you know all that kind of thing um and then like I suppose 90s um, R&B, um, I suppose 90s and 2000s R&B, just going to layer that up a bit just so it's not as, not as plain, um, so things like, um, you know, Mary J Blythe, um, And that kind of that kind of thing, um, I do like a, a little bit of reggae. I used to like <coughs> reggae a lot more when when I was younger. Um, what you would call um, like lovers lovers reggae, um, dance or reggae, and um, oh, what was the fast one with a with a faster beat? Um, I think they called it Raga. Um, so yeah, that was kind of in my younger days. I do still, you know, occasionally um, want a, a blast of it. Um, what else do I like? I suppose more, you know, people who are in the charts now, I do. I love Adele. Um, James Arthur. Um, I still love Usher. He was one of my favourites. Um, I like Rag and Bone Man. Um, what's him? Um, who did Shape of You? I really do like him. Anyway, I forgot his name for the minute. Um, what else do I like? Oh, that's lovely. Um, I like some um, kind of like what you would call dance uh, tracks, so like the Ibiza uh, classics. I did listen to some of that the other day. They've done it um, at the uh, a big orchestra house in in London, and um, you know they've done it the the dance music um, in you know harp and violin and stuff, and it sounds absolutely uh, amazing. Um, 
and then I suppose older kind of popular pop I liked. Um, well, still like, you know, George Michael, Prince, uh, Whitney Houston. And, and that kind of thing. Love that. So that's one side done. So have I covered all the music that, that I like? I'm sure I must have missed um, some kind of genre out. So yeah, I've got a very wide taste in music. I've never been uh, a country uh, fan. Um, you know, there's the odd song that I've heard. And I think it's because... I've not really listened to it. I've not, um, my granddad really liked um, Glen Campbell. And uh, as a teenager, well, a very young teenager, I think line dancing was a big um, thing. And I remember um, going somewhere with my grandparents, what played uh, country music. So, but since then, I've not, I can't find my dubber. Um, I've not really been. You know, I've not heard heard any, um, so I don't I don't really know it. Um, I'm not I don't like um, rock music at all. I mean, there's the big um, the big I suppose eighties. Are they all eighties? Um, you know, the era Smith and and that kind of. Um, thing which you know I, I do like all those but I wouldn't say I've I've ever been a rock um fan so yes definitely music there is normally um music going off somewhere um in the house um I have got Alexa's in in most of the rooms so that's how I um listen to my music so I either listen to the radio um or I listen to whatever Alexa will play me. Um, or, you know, I've got YouTube playlists. So I am going to go with music. <laughs> so do let me know uh, what what yours is. Um, you know, you can just tell me uh, one or the other. Or give me a little story or, um, you know, a bit more, a bit more information, whatever. Whatever you've got time for, it's always interesting to to see what you know other people uh, like. Okay, so the next one is what is your favourite drinks? Oh, what is one of your favourite drinks? Again, I'm not very good at, at just saying one thing. Um, so let's start with alcoholic drinks. Um, I don't drink beer anymore since being um, gluten free. Um, I've not drunk beer. I know you can get, um, you know, non gluten beers, but I, I've never. I've tried a couple, didn't really like them, and yeah, it's so, you know, calorific and stuff that I've not really. Uh, bothered with it I must say I don't drink um, often I did do quite a bit of drinking around uh, Christmas this year probably the most I've drank for a long time um, so I do like a cocktail and I think my favourite cocktail at the moment is those espresso martinis um, so I drank quite a few of those while I was uh, out and about it at Christmas time. Um, I like a glass of uh, white wine. I like a Chardonnay or I like uh, a Pinot or I like something like um, something fizzy. Um, you know, like a, a Carver or I'm not... I'm not saying on Prosecco, um, but I think it's, I like uh, probably a more dry uh, kind of wine. I do like a, a fruity uh, wine, but um, yeah, I'm not into like a really sweet wine. Um, I like I like a glass of port every now and again. Um, I discovered that um, after my mum 
passed away. I think she'd got a bit of port and, and I drank it and I thought, oh, that's very nice. Um, in the summer, we did drink some, um, I was going to say tequila. No, I didn't drink tequila. Some mojitos and um, pina coladas. So... Um, they was very nice, but again, you know, they the only something I'm going to drink every now and again. So that's probably, um, you know, if I went to a bar right now, it would be uh, a glass of wine. So what else do I like to drink? So I am a very liquid type person. Um, I've been trying really hard uh, just lately to um, drink a lot more water. I've put a tracker on my phone. Um, so I'm tracking my water. I've not quite um, <laughs> managed it yet. This is only my second day. So, I mean, it's only, you know, a, a new thing. Um, So, yeah, I'm definitely up in my water, and I do like water. Um, I drink, I do like um, certain fruity teas. Um, I'm more into the kind of lemon um, and honey ones. Um, I like green tea, but it's not something, you know, I couldn't drink it all day, every day. It's kind of... Um, you know, one one cup of, well, I have it in a glass uh, cup, so I do say a glass of. Um, so, yeah, I do like it, and I would miss it if I didn't have one every day. I do like a latte, and um, since, since Christmas, um, I don't think I've had one, or I might have had one. Um... <clears throat> So I do try and avoid those, but, you know, if I went to a coffee shop, it would be a latte. Um, I drink smoothies for my breakfast and dinner, so I do like a, a smoothie, and I use um, unsweetened almond milk and a bit of protein and um, some frozen... I'm going to put that in like that. I like that. Uh, some frozen fruit. Um, yeah. Tend to use the, the red fruits. The, the yellow fruits are a lot more um, sweet. You know, they're a lot more calorific. Uh, but I suppose my go-to at home is a cup of tea. <laughs> and I like um, Yorkshire tea. Um I always say I like builder's tea, I like it strong, no sugar, um, because I'm definitely sweet enough. And, um, yeah, I suppose my second one would, would be coffee, but, again, uh, since Christmas, I have been limiting myself. I'm trying to go just one, one a day, uh, but most days it is two. So, again, a very... Um, <laughs> Mix on oh, I like an occasional hot chocolate. Um, I've stopped having. I, I, you know, my absolute favourite is um, dairy milk. Um, not dairy. Oh yeah, I suppose it is Cadbury's. Um, the one that you put milk in. But um, yeah, since Christmas again, um, I've been having options. I don't know if that's something that you get everywhere it's um i don't know i think it's something like 10 calories or or something uh, you put hot water in it's very you know it, it is watery and stuff but i find if if i'm craving chocolate um having a cup of that um totally takes takes that craving away because uh, i have um, I'd, I'd pack chocolate up all together just before Christmas, but obviously, um, you know, the Christmas kind of got my sweet tooth, tooth again. So I'm just weaning myself self back off. So that, I find that very, very helpful. And 
um, you know, not long before Christmas, they'd said that I was kind of pre-diabetic, so, um, and cholesterol was sky high. So I'm not so much on a diet, um, I'm on a, you know, just eating um, and just being a little bit more more conscious about what I'm putting, putting in, I suppose. So, yeah, again, if you ask me what I wanted to drink of now this minute, I would have to say coffee, because uh, that's what I've got. Again, I like a strong coffee. I like, like, a Colombian coffee. Um, you know, nice tasting uh, coffee. Denise sent me some lovely uh, coffee. I think, well, Neil had been... Um, it, it, it was one of Neil's presents for Christmas. <laughs> and she sent me a couple of sachets of it. Um, I forget what it was called, uh, but very, very nice. And um, yes, I think I should be treating myself to to some of that later, later in the year. I might um, have to treat myself for for my birthday, and uh, it's not till July. But I'm going to pop that across across there, and then that's not so base uh, done. So yeah, that's uh, that. Let's uh, do that, and then we'll. I'll put some tissue uh, down. So I'm not sure if this is the one that uh, Rita Jensen sent me or not. I know Denise sent me uh, some William Morris tissue. I did buy some William Morris tissue. And um, I know Rita sent me some. Um, it's definitely not the one that Denise sent me. So it's either the one I bought or the one uh, Rita sent me. So let me pop those back down, down there. Yeah, I like that. Um, that's, it's, it's like plastic, that is. But it, it's obviously not. It's, uh, you know, it's a homemade, um, uh, handmade paper. I haven't made it. Um, again, it was one of those from... Why did I want to say take a break? Um, from Taperology. What or who always makes you feel calm? Okay, let me just rip some of this um, tissue down. So, have we got a piece that's already ripped? Or is it a full one? Oh, it's a full one. So, I'm just going to take, take a, a square of it. Like so. I'll put this one, one back. So, where do I want some? I've got little bits of paper stuck, stuck all over me. So, let's just rip some down. I can, right down there would be, be nice. I think you'll still be able to see uh, the, I think that's upside down, um, the paper behind once it's, um, dried. If you can't, it's it's not a biggie. I think it's always nice just to lay that uh, foundation because uh, you don't know how, how or what you're going to cover. So I think I might have that over there like so. Okay. And oops. I'll do this, these two a little bit smaller. So, shall we run that like through there ish? And maybe have that down there. Do we? Too wide, maybe. Let's just take some more of that down. Okay, I'll pop this into my scraps, whatever's um, left of of this bit, so it won't go. It 
they don't go to waste. Yeah, that's nice. And then maybe just a, one of these slithers um, down here somewhere. Yeah. Something like that. Or do we want do we want that more down there? Like that. And then that up there. Yeah, maybe that. And then that there, that there, and I have to. I might just leave it, leave it at that, because otherwise it's a bit, it's a bit twinny, isn't it? If I have three, three on each um, side, so I'll just fold those together, and pop those there. Right. Let's. I don't know. Let's see how this is for gluing. Yeah, that's fine. It's not that thin that you're going to uh, rub it and it's going to break, rip, shall I say. Okay. I'm, I'm not bothered if this creases or, or whatever. I think it adds, adds character. I do prefer putting tissue on, I think, with a, with a brush. Uh, but... As you'll know, I don't know where anything is, apart from what I do know. <laughs> that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> don't know where anything is, apart from what I do know. But, yeah, I've got, you know, stuff all over the floor. I've got stuff downstairs. Um, I've got stuff in piles and what have you. left my phone on uh, full because um, I just started filming before Alan got home from school and I'm never sure if she's got a key or not um, so I thought I'll leave it leave it on and then since then she's been in I've been down had a conversation with her and, and what have you and obviously come back up and uh, yeah then forgot to, to put my phone on silent and I think, I think it's that naughty Denise <laughs> texting me. I'm going to say she had just uh, texted me, telling me she's bought another wedding dress. I think that's the second one she's bought in about two weeks. Um, <laughs> obviously to, to cut up for, well, I'm imagining it's to cut up. I don't know if, um, I, don't, I, I guess she's not playing dress up in it. So, yeah, and I know when she texts, I, I asked her a question, I can't remember what it was. So I imagine it's it's Denise texting, texting back. I think she said she'd been out and about um, today. I'm filming this and it's Wednesday, so this will go up on Thursday. I had been doing a, a journaling little series on patreon just to to see uh how it how it went so there is some patreon only uh videos and i do have a patreon only uh playlist i think there must be about 30 30 videos on there um now so yeah i like that let's give it a bit of a bit of something and it's a lot um you know it's a lot more interesting than than the plain the plain craft. That's it. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Um, if I could locate my baby wipes, I might wipe my fingers. Oh, they're up there. Oh, I don't think they've ever been up there ever. That must be their new place for a minute. <laughs> I suppose everything will change once um once it goes down. Oh, I must say why I think about it, that there has been um, a hidden uh, giveaway um, and you've still got a few more days to enter. You've just got to find uh, the video and uh, the question and um, yeah. 
and I will draw it and um, it will go up in the community post which is you know in my profile on uh, YouTube it will come up on your feed if you are um, obviously subscribed and you've clicked the bell for all notifications um, that doesn't guarantee that it will come up in your feed um, but I will um, you know put a post up on um in the facebook group and on patreon uh just saying that um you know i have pulled um somebody out of a hat or um, whatever i can find and um yeah to look on my uh community post if anybody isn't sure how to look on people's community posts on facebook uh, sorry on youtube do let me know and i'll try and uh talk you through it and that reminds me uh sherry uh last night asked me uh did i really like <laughs> the tim holt scissors the the big ones um and and i do these are they're, they're quite old now um they definitely need tightening up and sharpening but yeah they're they're great scissors when i first used them i thought these are enormous um and it did take a couple of weeks to, to get used to them. And she was saying that, I think she said that she got the small ones. Um, and she said about um, a medium pair. So, you know, these are, are the medium pair. I use these ones the most. Um, I use these ones for fussy cutting. And then use these ones, you know, for cutting obviously bigger, bigger pieces of of paper so yeah they're, they're very very good scissors i think they use you know the serrated edges on them are brilliant but obviously because these have got old now a lot of the serrations worn worn away um but yeah i, I don't think i'd want to purchase them them again um they're not you know when you look at scissors um they are an expensive um thing i do only use them for paper well i try to um so yeah um i think i think that's it right so i spoke about the giveaway i spoke about um the scissors i'll see anything else i wanted to tell you um the kits what um myself and denise are working on at the moment will both be going up in etsy um i think next wednesday so that's darker days and uh it's fine romance so they'll be up on on wednesday i've also uh created some um inner child um papers so um that's something that that i'm doing uh, myself obviously you know in private um working on um you know my my inner inner child so i've i've done them that there's two different uh kits they're just pages there's no ephemera you can obviously make your own ephemera but they are supposed to be you know to make a journal um to write in um a bit samey isn't it with that being a strip and and that i do like that there though so i think i'm gonna stick stick with that i'm just gonna as i'm talking i'm just gonna sift it through it obviously i can cut those down so i'll leave those out i'm wondering about a frame somewhere i'll definitely want some kind of flippy element so i'll leave that out Um, I'm not going to write in this. Um, I just wanted to, you know, collage, use some of this stuff up and, um, yeah, just, just have a conversation, um, you know, about something something different what uh, perhaps wouldn't come up in, in a normal video, uh, you know, what I'd be filming. So, I'm kind of 
I don't like in, like in that. Are they stickers or transfer? They're stickers. I'll leave a, a couple of those out. Um, what else do I want? I'm going to need an actual focal point, but I'm thinking I'll lay these down first. Just so there's, you know, a bit more, a bit more interest. Could put a window uh, somewhere. That would be nice. Yeah, I think that's probably all I would want on on that side, unless I find uh, a number or something like that. Um, I forgot what I was on about. I don't. I don't finish what I was on about. Who knows? Um, I'll stick these down. I have a little thing. Oh, the kits, the, um, yes, so they're just journal pages. I've done one as more a pink and purpley and one uh, as like a greeny blue. And then there's a separate part. So they're just pages, what are very child-like. Uh, so they'd be ideal for, you know, how you do um, a journal in a, in a children's book and, and you do it more. Uh, child like or for a child um, and then the actual worksheets for um, anybody wanting to do um, journaling that's um, that's a different uh, kit I thought I'd keep it separate because I I knew that it wouldn't obviously be everybody's um, cup of tea. So they will be out as well uh, at the same time as, as the other two kits that I've just, just mentioned. So they're already up in Patreon. What I've been trying to do is put them up in there a good month uh, before they go in Etsy. Obviously that won't always be the case. I'll try as much as possible to get them up. Um, a good month before um, up to yet it's working out fine but you know as the year goes on and, and you get behind on on things and what have you so that is that I've also started putting some of the uh, collaboration kits that are in Etsy onto uh, my Patreon shop and I've kind of like grouped the kits together so you're perhaps getting two kits um, and yeah, it's I've put them on there a lot, lot uh, cheaper um, as a, as a, what's, what's the word as a, oh I don't know um, yeah I've totally lost my my train of thought. I do love that side. So yeah, like I say, we do need a, a visual. I think I'm liking uh, the orangey, orangey one as a benefit of being uh, a Patreon. That's that's what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, I think that's it news-wise. I don't think there's anything else to to say. I have been filming um, the um, doing of my uh, new new office. Um, I filmed 10 minutes so far. I thought as soon as I get to 15 minutes, um, I will put it put it up. I'm not going to stick that down. I'm going to see what image I'm going to use and, you know, have it be behind. So that's that. Might not use the postcard, to be honest. We'll see again. We'll see what image uh, we've got. So, images. <laughs> Let's, um, let's have a, well, we'll see, we'll see what we can find. I don't think there's going to be anything in here. I think I'm going to have to pull out uh, the florals and, and the birds. I don't think I've any, like, fussy cut images in here. I've got an odd few stickers, but nothing, um, you know, very, very tall. So I think I think the space would be be too big. Oh, a 
this one. I'll, I'll leave that that out just in just in case. I'll leave that one out as well. Um, I'll leave that out. Well, we can we can add to it. Let's let's find it an image. I'm just going to pause and uh, finish my cup of coffee and um yeah then we'll get on with the the last uh the last question let's <laughs> see in a take okay so i've got the um botanicals out so this is a lovely uh size isn't it Let's just have a root round. I don't think I'm ready for full full greens. Um yeah. Well I mean I am in real life, but um yeah, I don't I don't want to um use green. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. That would be better like coming out somewhere. I'll just leave those those out a minute to see. Ooh, they're beautiful. I don't know why I'm feeling purple. Well I suppose that's what I'm pulling pulling out. I don't like that on that side. I do really like that on that side. <laughs> and I'm covering that stamp. I'm wondering if I can peel peel that off. Because I think if I bring it out more I'm not I'm not so keen keen on that. Do I like it there? You know, I might. Once it's been been inked, it wants just cutting down a little bit yeah I might like it there uh -huh. so I could perhaps put the frame more to this side and have um, a floral like down here what are we thinking? I'm thinking I quite like it <laughs> so what or who makes you feel calm? well straight away I would have to say water um, I love being in uh, any kind of uh, water. Um, for those of you who's been with me a while, you'll know that we've got quite a quite a big uh, koi pond, and um, yeah, you know that was because um, I, I wanted to uh, air and sea water. Um, love being obviously in uh, streams and um, all the rest of it, the sea. Um, not like we get near to the sea uh, very often. So yeah, water just makes me feel really calm. Uh, the woods make me feel really calm, especially really deep into the into the woods, um, where it's very very silent. Again, on my uh, second channel, um, I've got um, different woods and things that. That I've um, been to, so uh, part of Sherwood Forest is on there, and so yeah, I do love being. I suppose nature in in general. Um, I like that. I feel like it needs some height though, which is what what's making me want to go uh, for this one. So let's just put that. No, that's. No, I'm not liking that. No. No, I think I'm pretty set on, on that. I like that. I'm going I'm going to go for that. Let's do it. Oh that was that was pretty easy. Easy peasy. So yeah, being out in, in nature and then um you know if I can't get out or <clears throat> or whatever, um you know, back to the music, uh, what we were saying about earlier. So I do love listening to, to nature sounds. Um, I often, you know, listen to to um, running water uh, type things and um, bird calling and, and that. 
um, so yeah, a lot of the music that I listen to um, really makes me feel uh, calm and, and grounded. What else makes me feel calm? Breathing. Um, I've been I've been doing some different kind of breathing uh, techniques. One, I, I don't know the correct word, but it's... Um, you breathe in twice through your nose. Um, so you go <sighs> like that. You let it out of, of your mouth. And you do that five times. Um, and that's kind of small children when, when they cry and they've finished uh, the crying. And they do that... Um, you know, when, when they're calming themselves um, down, it, it's, um, I think it's based on, based on that. So, um, yeah, two in through the nose and then one out through the mouth. And, uh, yeah, that really does calm you. Um, and then I do the breathing through, uh, breathing in through the nose. Um, you know, really deep. Um, intake and then the out the out breath through the mouth but do it with with a big sigh um, and make sure all all your breaths out so yeah it's surprising um, the the effects that the uh, breathing breathing has and um, yeah when I do my yoga that really uh, calms me and I don't really like the word calm. I think I think I would, you know, call it more being being grounded. Um, so yeah, I think they're they're really the types of things. Smells a lot of smells um, give me that um, feeling. I am very much on uh, different different smells and and things. I think they evoke. Um, different feelings and, and things things like like that uh obviously stroking stroking the dog that um that calms you um and i suppose this goes back to the to the water and um, when i wasn't very well um after my mum passed um I got going into like this this panic. Um so I watched um like fish tanks um for hours on YouTube and uh, yeah just watching the fish um swim swim round uh, it was very very uh relaxing and, and calming. So yeah, lots of different techniques that, that I use. I have to remind myself sometimes I am getting better um, at it. And um, yeah, I've started to, you know, try and include these things in, in my daily life anyway, uh, just to keep me on that kind of, um, you know, level that, that um, I don't get to kind of uh, panic mode. So that is is my answer uh, to that. So I really enjoyed enjoyed that. It's nice to to have a think um, about the the questions, um, you know, your answers. So and it's nice to talk about something something different. I mean that I don't know about everybody else, but uh, for you for for you any of you who's any of you who's, <laughs> who's um you know winter at the minute um you know i'm not going anywhere so i don't know i don't know if anybody else is so apart from you know the the office um updates and and kind of channel updates um i've not got a lot else to to say um so yeah, it, it it is nice to to have um to have some uh, conversation topics. Like I say, they'd be great as um journal journal prompts. I don't know how many of you do journal. Um, 
and you know obviously what you journal about i think journaling is a very um you know it's a, it's a personal um thing not not just about you know your actual writing but um what you want to to write about um so i put a lot of if i've read something and um i i read quite a lot of um again i suppose you would call them new age um i don't know if you call them new age now but i mean that's what what you called them in like the 90s um things say like if i want to remember things and and stuff I, i'll make notes if um if i want to concentrate on something like um you know I, i'm wanting to drink more water and things like that i'll write notes about about that um so yeah that's kind of my um what i use a journal for but um you know a lot of people use use prompts and well i mean obviously you can write about anything can't you i'm just wondering if i want anything down down there that's why i'd gone a little bit <clears throat> um distracted that's that's the word i'm looking for distracted right i've got some oh I did have. Where are they? I've got some uh, Tim Holtz stickers here. Let's, um, let's put a couple of those down. Go on to just that. So that's that. I don't want another circle. What else have I got? Oh, they're the postcards. There's all sorts in here. Like I say, there's stuff from, you know, projects and then stuff that I've just found and um, stuff that, you know, just there was oddments of things that, that just want uh, using, using up. So perfect for um, collagen. I wonder if I want that there, actually. <laughs> oh, do I? Um, no, I think I prefer that there. Put that there. Um, can I find anything else? All I can see is, is circles. Don't think I've got any words in here. I did sit and kind of went through as much as I could of it and, and put things, you know, away in the right in the right places and, and things. I think it, I then, you know, gave gave up. It was going, going too, too much. Ooh. Do I like that with that number there? I do, surprisingly. You think that would be a, a number, a number overload. These are f cut from uh, the Tim Holtz paper like that too even though I'm blocking out a lot of that yeah I like that so we'll put this down and then I think we'll call it we'll call it a day so this is going to be Thursday's video I'm going to see how it's um how it's viewed and things uh, my views have gone gone really down I don't know how everybody else um is who's got a channel um but yeah, mine, mine have gone really down. So if, if it's a hit, um, I'll carry carry it on. Um, if it's not, then I might just do it occasionally because I did really enjoy it myself. Um, so so we'll see. So don't forget to um, have a hunt round, see if you can uh, find the video and the question uh, for the giveaway. Um, I've got lots of stuff uh, to to give away, you know, things that have been sent from Typology and, 
your creative studio so it will be an envelope of stuff um i'll do it too because it's open to anywhere so um you know i'll get as much in a envelope as as i can to make the postage um you know reasonable so thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed that i'm going to keep these uh cards out and um yeah well we'll have a go go again hopefully like i say you, you've enjoyed it and i can come back next thursday and do it again it's just a bit of something something different and and very relaxing um if i was to uh want to add um writing on it um you know all these kinds of papers uh what you get i mean obviously i'd tear tear that down you know you could add uh little bits of of writing space you could also um do could have a pocket somewhere with some paper um inside it that you can pull out you can use uh, something like this to hinge so you know you'd put a hinge there and it would go that way or that way or whatever and you could use that as your writing space um or you know you could have left more space obviously um on there so there's lots of ways to be able to do a nice spread and still have some uh, writing space. I will just show you. Um, so this is what um, I've been doing on uh, Patreon. So like on this one, I've created this flip out and I've just used uh, some tickets down, down the side. And I've just put, that was the, the prompt and then um i wrote there and then i did the same kind of thing here so that was just uh folding a corner and sticking the corner down and then it just uh flips up here um you know this and then here's an envelope so i'd put my uh writing piece in there is that it oh no and this one i'd created a pocket here and here and I'd um paper clipped that onto onto there. So you can still do a lovely uh spread and still have um you know space to to write. Um so so that is that. So thank you for joining me and um yeah I will hopefully well I'll see you at the weekend and um yeah I'm hoping to get one of the, the videos up for the for the um you know the build so far um at the weekend so we, we shall see and um yeah i shall see you next time bye for now